Hello and welcome to video number one in Offline Bullet Cash. Now firstly I want to thank you for purchasing Offline Bullet Cash and I really do hope that you get a ton of value from all of the information and the videos that I've got in store for you throughout the course. Now this first video we're going to talk about the best type of service that you can provide to secure an offline client. Now when it comes to working with companies and businesses in your local area your number one priority is to obviously sell them your service to sell them some kind of a service but the reality is you're not going to be able to sell any company or any local business a very expensive service the first time that you actually meet them okay it's just not going to happen because the chances are the company or the business don't really know you very well okay they haven't met you before so they aren't going to suddenly spend a thousand two thousand three thousand dollars on a service which they're not even sure if you can deliver so the reason why I've put this video course together is because I'm going to show you the best type of service that you can provide in your local area just to get your foot in the door because once you're in there once you've actually provided the service to a local business and they've paid you for the service then you can then offer them more expensive products further down the road okay but it's, it's important for you to get your foot in the door initially and this is what this course is all about so number one the best type of service to provide is a website for their business because every business needs a website and this is an easy service to actually provide and it can be very profitable as well as you'll see later in the course when I explain so by talking to them about a website you will stand a much higher chance of getting that person as a client because if they don't already have a website then there's a very good chance that you can get them as a client if they do already have a website what I found is that a lot of businesses aren't happy or aren't happy with the actual results from the website that they've already got out there so even if the company's already got a website you still stand a very good chance of getting that person as a client by providing a website for them uh, number two a cheap package or a low ticket service is the best way to get in with okay hence the website the websites that I create from local businesses in my area I do not charge that much money okay I will get to that in just a moment of exactly how much I charge but it's a low ticket entry you could say it's a uh, entry level uh, service the same as when you work online okay you're not going to suddenly try and sell someone a thousand dollar product you offer them a low ticket product so when they become a buyer you can then sell them more products as you progress number three so this leads us on to how much you charge now this is for me this is how much I charge companies in my local area and I am in the UK so obviously this is going to be in UK pounds but I charge 99 pounds per website okay and that converts to around hundred and sixty dollars and I find this is a good price to charge because it's not too cheap okay it's, it's definitely going to be worth your time you know 99 pounds per site and you can build these sites really quickly it takes me less than an hour to actually build these sites okay so 99 pound an hour is good money but at the same time it's not too expensive so you're not going to scare people off and also what I will say is uh, the best thing to do is look at other companies in your local area and see how much they charge look at the big firms the big companies and see how much they charge in your local area for building sites and um, I've done this and in my local area they charge two or three hundred pounds so I'm actually fairly cheap compared to a lot of these other web companies in my area so it's important not to make it too expensive because 99 pound is a good price uh, to charge and not only that there's lots of other packages that you can offer after they've bought this one 
okay but you know just remember what I said this is the website service is just the basic package that you offer and this is how you get your foot in the door you can then upsell them different packages and more expensive services as you progress because once an offer client has paid you for a service then there's going to be a much bigger chance of them then paying you for a different service okay so if they need any other particular type of service done on their website then you're going to be the first person that they speak to about that so that is it for the first video this is just like an overview video of the actual services that you're going to provide in your local area and how to get your foot in the door in video number two I'm going to show you some examples of the sites that I've built for companies in my local area so I will see you in video number two welcome to video number two in offline bullet cash I'm just going to show you a couple of sites that I've put together for businesses in my local area and the first one is Great Yarmouth Indoor Karting .co.uk. as you can see I've got a couple of YouTube videos in the sidebar there I've got home page with a couple of images my nav bar with all my pages and links and a nice flashy header at the top there your header is really important so make sure that you create a good header for the site I'll show you exactly how to do that in a different video so don't worry but it's important that you have a good header on the site because this is what makes all the difference so as you can see with the links I've got six different links here now this is going to depend on the type of business that your client has okay because it's not always going to be relevant to have videos in there or book an event so you just gotta think about the type of product they have and then just include the relevant links on here but I always include things like where are we because all I do is just link to Google Maps and people can then go to the map and then they can find out exactly where you are where the business is gallery I nearly always include a gallery because pictures you can pretty much use pictures for every type of business contact us it's uh, always on there but book an event and videos are optional as I said it just depends the type of business that they've got and opening times but you can add some extra ones in here as well so if the, if your client has any specific things that they want to add then by all means you can add links in here so you just gotta like speak to your client and uh, if there's any other uh, particular type of things that they want added to the site then then you can add it quite easily Now this site also gets plenty of traffic because when I build the sites I do fully optimize the sites as well now if we go into the site go into dashboard I'm just going to show you how many keywords that it's being found for. If we scroll down to the bottom here, and go to Rank Tracker. Now, I will go through all the different plugins that you need for the site, so don't worry. I'll um, I'll be going through that in the next couple of videos. But this is just one of the plugins that I use. This is an actual paid plugin. However, it's purely optional. So I will give you the chance to get this plugin if you want. If you don't, don't worry about it. You don't need it to actually succeed with building sites for clients, but it's just a handy tool to use because what you do, you configure all of the settings at the top there. So just make sure that is on instant. And for me, because I'm in the UK, that's going to be .co.uk. Scroll down and what happens is it gives you an instant email whenever somebody has found the site on Google and this is what I do on every single one of my offline clients websites because I can then gauge to see if they're getting much traffic so if we look down the list you can see that I've had 143 people so far find the site with this keyword Great Yarmouth Indoor Karting so if we scroll further down the list you can see that it's being found for an absolute ton of different keywords so this is obviously a good thing 
obviously means it's well optimized and it's getting found for plenty of traffic within Google. So that's just to show you that they do rank very well after after you've made the site if you follow the steps that I show you in the videos and do everything the same as I do they do rank really well right, go back to the site again so this is the type of site that you can make you can of course customize the site with different colors because you can change the colors of the nav bar here and the background and, and all that so but that's something that we'll go into more in depth when we actually build the site because I'm going to show you exactly how to build the site with the live example that I've got in the video. So this is the carting site. The next one is the Army and Navy store. Army and Navy store or Army and Navy greatyarm.co.uk. This is another one I've built. Again, I've customized the colours to suit the colours of his business and his type of shop, you see because if you look on his shop here like this is like a picture of his actual shop he's got it's all green there so I've I've used green for the nav bar and for parts of the header and parts of the background as well so this is important because it gives a better feel for the site and it makes it look a lot more professional now this one I haven't got a sidebar not every site that you create has to have a sidebar you just basically have to decide when you build the site because every client that you get will will be completely different okay some of you know they will all have uh, or most of them will have different products and this particular guy didn't really have much to put in his sidebar so I kind of like left that and uh, and what we're going to do with this client I said to him to take some pictures of lots of different products within his store and then I can put it in a sidebar because personally I think these sites look a lot better when you have products in the sidebar you know either YouTube videos or pictures or images or products these sites just look a lot more tidy when you have a sidebar so uh, that's what I usually do whenever I build the sites and again you can see here look, I've only got three links contact us gallery and where are we because as I said to you on this site things like videos and book an event aren't relevant to this particular type of business so you just got to weigh up and just decide you know when you build a site for a client what links that you need to put in there and which ones that you need to leave out So these are just a couple of sites that I've put together and these are good examples of what you need to do so after you've built your site you can always come back to these two sites and just check yours against mine to you know to, just to make sure that you've put everything together properly and one last thing I will say this is a, a cool tip is in your footer your sites I always put contact us privacy policy and sitemap I don't put these in the nav bar because that's just a waste of time I always just leave them in the footer uh, but another great tip that I do do this isn't something that I do all the time because some people don't want me to do it so occasionally I may I may put a link in the in the footer area I'll put near the website and what I'll do is I'll actually create a new page where people can go to and then they can contact me so this is completely free advertisement so for every site that you build if you can get plenty of your links or if you can get plenty more free advertisement then this obviously means that you're going to pick up more offline clients and that in combination with you know viral traffic um, you know vi viral word of mouth traffic and, and stuff so you're going to get plenty more phone calls and this is just like an extra way to help you to get more clients by having a link at the bottom of every website that you make. Some clients don't mind but some would rather you didn't advertise on there so you just have to ask um, but I mean if you put it in there and they do they do mention it to you then you can just take it off but uh, most of them just wouldn't have what I found most of them don't have a problem with you doing it. So if we go up to the top of the page again so this is pretty much the end result so 
the next uh, the next couple of videos I've got for you I'm going to take you through and show you how to set up an actual website the actual WordPress site and how to configure everything how to install your plugins and the best theme to use where to get the theme from and all of that so I will see you in video number three when we go through actually building the site and putting everything together welcome to video number three in offline bullet cash the next step of the process is to register the domain name for the website that we're going to build and the site that I always use is namecheap.com I always buy most of my websites from namecheap now I've already done this because I've currently got a site that I'm going to build live in front of you so I've already bought the domain name and the next stage is to go to your server to your hosting account and to actually install WordPress okay so if we go over to my HostGator account I'm logged in here and what I'm now going to do is install WordPress onto the new domain name that I've just purchased so give me a few moments and I'll upload WordPress to the new domain name and then I will log in at the WordPress admin panel so I'll be right back okay I'm back now I've just uploaded the domain revolutionfitnessgy.co.uk now this is actually my local gym I'm now going to build a site for my local gym and this is the WordPress site as you can see there's nothing on it it's a completely blank website so what I'm going to do now is log in and then customize some of my settings in the admin panel and then go through various other bits and pieces so I'll log in and I'll be back in a few moments okay here we are now logged in to the new site the first thing I usually do is go to update now because there's usually always an update that's required so this is our new website that we're now going to customize so so far we've registered the domain installed WordPress and now we're going to go through install the theme and also configure all of the settings down here so when you go to settings in general and writing reading discussion all those I'll go through those with you and just show you exactly what I do whenever I build new sites so the first thing we're going to do is upload a theme the theme that I use is the free semi logic theme it's completely free to use go to themes and then install themes so I will install this theme right now here we are so I'll activate the theme okay so we now have a new theme installs so if we go to the website and have a quick look get rid of that and name sheet we don't need that so revolution fitness so here we go so we've got the basic theme installs so what we do now is go through and just configure some of the settings and this is the stage when you can order your head if your site because you, you don't want to waste any time so we go back to the site now what you've got to do at this stage you obviously know what type of business that your clients site is going to be about so what you need to do is look at their business their their their, their company um, and just see what types of colors and fonts they've got on any of their business cards and any of their flyers so what you then do is create a header for your site around those same fonts so if you give the fonts to your designer to your web designer then they will be able to copy the exact same fonts from the flyer 
or from the business card that you get from your client and this is how I build all of my sites I'll show you exactly what I mean when I build the header for this site okay so now is the time when you need to order your header now in case you're not sure how wide to make your header and and how thick the measurements that I use for all of mine are 950 by 140 pixels so that's going to be 950 wide and 140 high the reason why I don't make my headers very very high is because it just eats up too much space on the actual site so when you go there if it's if the head is too big then that's going to take up too, just too much space and it just looks ugly and it doesn't look very professional so 950 by 140 that's the size of the header you need so you can give those measurements to your designer to your web designer whoever that's going to be and they will build you the header based around those measurements now the reason why it's always 950 wide is because if we go to layout the ones that I you here look canvas you see 950 pixels wide and I usually use the same types of layout every time so if we use the wide content sidebar that's 950 wide okay if you use there's a double sidebar this one here that could be a bit bigger I can't remember no that's 950 as well 950 is is pretty much a safe measurement to build your headers at because you can use quite a few different templates for this semi loaded or semi logic free theme now if you go down any further if you go to like a small content this is only 750 so by all means you can use this one but obviously your head is going to be too long for this particular layout so just remember that but I always use 950 and I usually choose the wide content sidebar and make sure I've got a sidebar on the side as I said in one of the previous videos if you can't add a sidebar on your site then it's not the end of the world okay if you're if the client that you're building the site for hasn't got many additional products or maybe he just hasn't had time to take any pictures um, then you then you're gonna have to leave the sidebar off for now but then you can always come back at a later date and then add the sidebar just change the layout and it's it's really simple and you won't have to change the header because it's going to be the exact same size so you now need to go and order your header and then while your header is on order you can then progress and build the site so if we scroll down to the bottom of the page go to settings and I'll just scroll through and show you what to do like the first thing to do is obviously put your main keyword at the top here so for me it's going to be it's going to be uh, revolution fitness gym Great Yarmouth. As you can see, I am doing this live. This is the actual live. This is the live site build. So do that. I will leave my email address in here for now. Um, I will leave that in there for now, and then scroll down, save changes. Revolution Fitness Gym Great Yarmouth so that's the first one done next one is writing I don't usually change too much on here you can add some more ping services down there if you like but I just usually keep that as default reading now what you want is you need a static page okay when you submit your first piece of content for your home page that's going to be what you'll have to do is where well it says front, front page here um, that's going to be your 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 post um, so 
So you click that and your post page, when you make a new post, your new post will be here. And then you click the post and blog posts show, blog pages show one, one post and then save changes. But obviously we can't do that in a minute because we haven't uploaded any content, but we'll do that pretty soon. Discussion. What usually happens is, is I turn the comments off because I mean, by all means, you can leave them on, but personally, I turn them off because most offline clients that I've built sites for, they don't maintain the site very well. So you're going to be getting loads of comments in the admin panel and in your WordPress dashboards, but your offline client probably won't log in that much to really approve the comments because you've got to remember that they aren't um, they aren't always going to know how to go into the admin panel and and change things uh, but it is completely up to you I usually turn them off just to just to make things easier um, and I you can turn allow the pingbacks and trackbacks off but we'll just leave that on for now but that's the only one that I usually deselect and then scroll down and then save changes I have tested this both ways and it's just easier for me and it's just less work because otherwise you're gonna to have to constantly go in and approve the comments if you are required to maintain the site right next we'll go down to privacy allow search engines to index the site okay save changes make sure that's definitely on because otherwise you won't be getting any search engine traffic whatsoever and this one they've actually changed WordPress did an upgrade a while back where they've automatically got a post name so you want that so save changes and that is pretty much it for video number three so what we've done we've registered the domain installed WordPress we've installed the free theme from semi loaded or semi logic we've ordered the customized header okay at this stage you should have already or you should have now as I've said in this video is gone off to order your header from your designer and the next thing we did was we configured all of the settings in the admin panel and that is it for this video it's really simple okay if you missed anything you can always obviously go over this video as many times as you want but if you're not entirely sure how to make your headers then watch the next video when I'm going to upload the header and show you exactly what the header that I've made for this site looks like and then you can perhaps take some information and take some tips and stuff from that and use that in your own headers that you make for clients so I will see you in video number four welcome to video number four in offline bullet cash in this video we're going to go through all of the plugins that you need on your sites now before we get to the plugins this is the site that I've built as you can see I've uploaded a brand new header and from what you saw last time in the last video it's a massive difference just by having a header on your site makes a massive improvement straight away and you'll also see that I've got the opening times in the header this is something that I always include because I find that it makes a big difference and it's something that your clients will actually want you to do as well is by having the opening hours on the header and also the contact number some in there somewhere as well so when you create your headers for your clients you can make them similar to this and they aren't very difficult to create I mean if you're good at graphics and good at web design then by all means you can do it yourself otherwise you can outsource your headers and they're very cheap they cost me between five and ten dollars so they're very cheap to do and often um, designers can can give you the header back within 24 hours they can 
they can build it for you and get it back to you very quickly so it doesn't take very long so that's the header the next thing we're gonna go to is go over to the dashboard uh, we're gonna go to the settings and reading right I did briefly mention about this in the last video now you've got a choice here you can either create a post or a page so if we go to the main page here I've already uploaded a basic post to the site so if we go to posts and all posts here then you'll see that I've got a basic post here that's got no content on it I've just put the word Revolution Fitness Gym Great Yarmouth here and then just clicked update or publish for the first time and then when you go to reading you will then have an option of how you want to view that particular page now the way I do things I usually click your latest posts and change that to one because otherwise if you create any more any new posts they're going to go above your home page so you don't want that to happen you just want to have a static home page which stays at the top and if you do your latest posts and just do one post here what I usually do if you want to use posts go in and then if you do happen to create any newer posts then just come into this post here and just change the date and then update it and then that will go straight to the top that's what I usually do if we go back to settings and reading so you've got a choice between using pages or posts you can if you want to use a static page if you've got a page on your on your site uh, front page then you can use one of your pages um, just make a page select the page that you want to be at the top and then just click save changes but for me I just leave it at your latest posts most of the time changes to one and click save changes and that is pretty much the easiest way that I've found for it to work so those are the two things that I just wanted to quickly go through your header and creating the first post now let's go to the plugins install plugins the plugins that I always use on my sites and this is for this is specifically for offline clients okay I use the contact form plugin the Google site maps I use a share bar because that's important when you build a site for a client and they they start to generate a bit of traffic then their traffic can obviously share the content on the social networks so it's, it's important to have a share bar and I've got a rank tracker if you remember I did briefly mention about a rank tracker in one of the other videos it is a paid plugin I will give you the opportunity to purchase this plugin later in the course but like I said it's not something that you desperately need okay for any anything to work it's just a bonus plugin that I like to use so that I can gauge how much traffic is coming to the site because I get I set it up if you remember um, and I put my email in there so as soon as the site is found within Google I'll get an email so I can gauge how well the site is doing in the search results so they're the plugins that I use let's go through how I actually create each of these plugins because some of them you have to create pages and stuff so on the contact form you go to settings what you need to do is just copy this copy this this is a short code so you need to copy this and then go to a page and then create a page called contact us pretty simple and then when you go in there make sure that you don't go on visual make sure you're on HTML and then just paste that code in there and then press update and then when you do that what will happen is you'll get a page in your footer appear and when you go to contact us it'll give you a nice professional looking page where people can go to and they can fill out the form and click submit and you'll get an email so that's how you do the contact us 
but you do need to make sure that you have the correct email within the site. So if you go to, down to your general settings, then your email will be here. Now for this example, I'm just going to leave my own personal email in here, but you can set up a different email address for your client site or actually get their own email address and put it in there as well. Put it in there so any questions will be forwarded to your forwarded direct to the owner of the site um, or the owner of the offline business. So go back to install plugins. So that's the contact us form, the contact form 7. I'll make available all these plugins within a folder within the course so don't worry I'll uh, give you access to all of these and they're all free just apart from the rank tracker and uh, the social sharing but I've got a share bar plug in there which is free. Next one is the sitemaps Google XML sitemaps which is really really simple all you do go down to XML sitemap for the first time if this is the first time and I just rebuild the sitemap manually and then it says yeah thank you we've rebuilt it and then update options really really simple to do that's that done next thing we do is the share bar the share bar is really really simple okay you just come down here to the share bar and you can customize it so what happens is every time someone goes to a page on your site they will have the opportunity or the option of sharing the content as you can see here look but you can customize the settings of this plugin when you go to share bar so you can choose which pages you want the share bar to appear on and stuff like that but for me what I use is back to plugins I just use a different social plugin it's very similar but I just make it appear within my sidebar instead so it's, it's pretty much similar but this is just a a share and uh, this is a social tool that I um, managed to get hold of quite a few months back and I purchased a product and I got this for free so I've been using this ever since I'm not sure if you can actually buy this uh, perhaps do a Google search for it I can't actually remember if you can actually purchase this one but there's not really a lot of difference to be honest as long as you've got a social share tool on your site that's fine and the last one is the rank tracker we come to the rank tracker make sure that's to instant I mean you can have daily or weekly or monthly but I like to go on instant your email in there which is important and this is the most important one don't forget to do this depending where you are in the world you know if you're in New Zealand if you're in Australia the US the UK okay it's important to be using the Google which is going to be in your country because remember these are offline businesses they're not going to be interested most of the time unless they sell products worldwide they are not going to be interested in getting traffic from uh, worldwide you know they're not going to be interested in it at all it's just not going to do them any good so and you're not interested in their ranking for other search engines so if it's a UK if you're in the UK and you've built a site you've got a client for a company in the UK then you're going to use the UK Google search engine makes sense yeah and that is it, you click save changes and this is a good little tool, the rank tracker because it gives you instant emails when people have found your site within Google and that is pretty much it when it comes to plugins very simple but this is pretty much all you need on your site now there is one more but it's not actually a plugin if you, you may have I saw it in my pages I've got a privacy policy here okay if we go back to home this isn't an actual plugin though what you need to do is go to this site here and so go to serprank.com forward slash privacy policy generator and what this does is creates you a privacy policy for completely free and then all you do is just paste that within your site dead simple we go to privacy policy, edit, and this is what happens. It creates you a privacy policy like this. 
and you just click update and the reason why I now use this site here is because at the time of making this video all of the plugins that I've used previously for all of the privacy policies are out of date so this is why I now use this site here it's completely free and it creates you a nice big long privacy policy so it keeps Google happy and it's obviously good to have on your site as well so that is it for video 4 look out for video number 5 and in the next video we're going to go through how to lay out your site the colors to use and how to customize your entire theme so I'll see you in the next video take care welcome to video number five in offline bullet cash in this video we're going to go through the site layout the site skin colors and the customization of your entire theme so what I'm going to
site pretty much finished as you can see everything looks a lot more clean now and less congested as you can see I've taken the links off the bottom here and I've cleaned the sidebar up and, and just added some links in the navbar here so now we're ready to put our first article on the front page which is going to be the home page and I usually include some images as well and sometimes um, I put videos and images in the sidebar but uh, I'll show you how to do all that in the next video so I hope you've enjoyed it and you can now see that it really is simple to build the site and it's just a case of going through and customizing all of the settings in the admin panel so I'll see you in video number six welcome to video number six in offline bullet cash as you can see the site is looking pretty good I've recently uploaded an article to the home page which is the static home page and I've got a few images in there as well so this home page or this article here is always going to be on the home page this is the static home page so every time someone comes to this website this is the article and the content that they're always going to see so when you build your sites make sure that you do this make sure that you designate an article which is going to be the introduction to the business and it's always going to be on the home page I've also already got a couple of Facebook likes I've got my navbar links but what happened was there was one that I forgot to include and that was prices so I included that so I've now got prices, videos, contact us, opening times, gallery and where are we. So I've got six different links there and these are all going to be, these are all completely relevant to this type of business. But depending what type of product or service that your offline client has depends on the type of nav links that you have in here. So just remember that. Now if we go down to the footer in the foot of what contact us privacy policy and need a website now need a website is optional I will cover that in a different video but this is something that you can add to get extra exposure and you can get more clients but we will cover that in a different video so this is pretty much the finished version I can or I will be adding some YouTube videos in the sidebar and some extra images but for now this is pretty much the finished version so as you can see it does look pretty good once everything's been customized and you change colors and you change the layout and the fonts and all that and you get a decent header uploaded it really does start to look quite professional and you can make some fantastic money by building simple sites like these because offline clients love these sites all of the offline clients that I've built sites for they love them and uh, they are obviously for you and you know they are very simple to make to build as I've just shown you in the last few videos they're really simple so it doesn't have to be hard so you don't need to worry about any code any HTML CSS any of that because this is just a WordPress platform and uh, as I've shown you, you just customise the theme, and it you know it looks something like this when it's all done. It, it does look very nice. Now, before I end the video, let's just quickly cover some of these nav links. Some of these links here, I don't have content on, but that doesn't matter at the minute because I can always go back in and add content within those pages at a later date. The prices one here, I've got some content on there content there look videos there's nothing on videos contact us is the the plugin that we use as I said to you about opening times I've filled that out so it's got some basic information there gallery that could just be tons of pictures and videos and stuff that you've got but that's empty in a minute and where are we what I do 
is go to Google Maps and find the business address on Google Maps and then link it to there because some people do click on where are we and they do have a look to see exactly where the business is so this is how I set all of my links up and it works really well just lastly as I said to you in one of the other videos when you build your header make sure that you've got your opening hours and your opening times and, and your contact number in the header you don't always have to do this but it's a good move to do it if you're going to be building sites for offline clients because they're obviously trying to get more customers through the door so by having a contact number direct on the header and the opening hours is going to be a big benefit to them In the next video, we're going to cover the best businesses to approach for building websites. So I will see you in video number seven. Welcome to video number seven. This video, we're going to go through the best types of offline businesses to approach for getting more clients. Now, when it comes to building websites for offline clients, there's only certain types of businesses that I like to build websites for. Uh, in this video I'm going to go through the 15 different types of businesses that I like to build websites for and these are basically my preferred types of offline businesses that, that I like to work with. Now saying that I don't turn down any business if anyone comes to me and they need a website for, for personal use or they've, they've got a business which I don't usually provide websites for I will still build a website for them but this list of 15 are just my preferred types of businesses that I like to approach myself so number one is dog grooming services and dog grooming shops this is a great one because you can get lots of referral business from these types of businesses so dog grooming stores and shops there's always going to be those type of services and stores around your local area because they're really popular number two fishing tackle shops now fishing tackle is being sold all year round because obviously fishing is an all year round hobby so uh, if you've got any of those type of stores and, and shops in your area and businesses then definitely approach them to build them a little website Number three, fancy dress stores or joke shops. This is a fantastic one because if you can build some sites for these type of businesses then it can make the site look really good because they've got a great product and there, there's going to be a lot of different colours and, and different images and videos and stuff that you could add to the site so you can make it look really really professional and obviously this is going to do your credibility a lot of good because when people come to the site then um, a lot of people may may want a similar website design so that's obviously when you come in number four clothing stores so if you've got any local clothing stores in your area this is always a good one number five any bike shops so any motorbike shops or basically any type of bike bicycles and stuff so if you've got any that any of those type of stores in your local area definitely approach them because this is a great product and this is a really hot niche and again this is like an all year round niche so uh, and when you build a website around this type of product it can look really good and you can have plenty of videos and pictures and stuff uh, on the site number six general entertainment stores so this just speaks for itself so basically any type of store that offers any type of entertainment uh, then uh, this is always great to build a website for number seven salons if you've got any salons in your local area again this is a quite a this is a very popular niche so there's always going to be salons um, in your area so this is a good one to this is a good type of business to approach number eight health food stores this is a great one if you can approach any type of health food stores in your local area and they haven't got a website then there's a very good chance that that you want to be the person for the job because health food stores you can build some great sites and uh, 
you know, everyone's always looking to improve their health, so this is a great niche to get into to build a website for. Number nine, adventure sports and hobbies. So as you saw, the karting site that I showed you is one, uh, for one of my examples. And that's like a an example of like a an adventure kind of a hobby or like a sport. So anything like that, and they're fantastic to build sites for, and it's going to be great. Uh, this is going to do your credibility a lot of good as well because people are going to look at those type of sites and if they want one themselves then obviously you're going to be the person for the job they're going to contact you self-employed builders number 10 this is a great one self-employed builders you know in order to get them more exposure in the local area this is a, a great one so if you've got any builders that you know or you know pass some pass some of your business cards around then this is a, a great one to get in with because a lot of builders know a lot of other builders so if you can build one or two sites for some local builders and painters and stuff then they could then refer you to their friends number 11 toy stores this is a fantastic one because when you build a website around toys then there's going to be a ton of different images and videos that you could use for the sites so you've got to start looking like this you've got to start thinking about potentially how good the site can be and this is why I like to build sites around fun kind of like products like toys and stuff because you can build some fantastic sites number 12 gaming stores this is a great one again you can have lots of videos and sidebars and, and images and stuff so gaming stores are good uh, number 13 florists florists are one of my favorite ones because every florist needs a website it's a very very lucrative industry so if you've got any florists in your local in local area that don't have websites then definitely approach them and tell them what you can do and uh, build them a little site because a nice florist website is going to look great in your portfolio number 14 gyms and fitness centers as I showed you one of my examples um, I built the site and that was a gym so these are great for building sites for and again after you've built them a site you can easily well I mean if you if you ask them then uh, you can leave your your business card within the gym so if anybody else wants a website and obviously gyms you know most gyms get a lot of customers so uh, you can leave your your uh, flyers or your business cards within the gym as well so this is like a a great benefit of building a, a website for a gym because you, you get a bit more free advertisement up there afterwards and number 15 any unique type of products so this goes for a lot of different things but any type of product that you don't usually come across very easily then this is a great I, this is a great uh, product to build a site around because it's going to be new unique and it's not going to have been seen uh, that much so any unique type of product um, and those are my 15 best types of businesses that I like to approach when building websites for as I said I'd like to try and keep I like to try and only work with businesses that have got quite a good fun product so that when you build a site it looks good it looks fun colorful and all that but saying that if anybody does approach you and uh, and they're their product that they're trying to sell doesn't very doesn't sound that interesting then don't obviously uh, don't sort of send them away you can still take you can still take the business and still build them a site by all means but these 15 are just my preferred sites that I like to work with so I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you in video number eight Welcome to video number eight in Offline Bullet Cash. And this is going to be the last video in the video course. So this is going to be a bonus video and I'm going to give you five bonus tips that's going to help you when it comes to building your sites for offline clients. Now the first tip is to do with domain names. Whenever you build a new site for an offline client, you obviously need a domain name to build a site on. So what I usually do, I usually speak to the client and get them to write down three different domain names in order of preference. So number one is their first choice, number two their second choice and number three their third choice. 
So if number one isn't available, then they get number two. But usually number one is nearly always available. So that's how I get them to choose a domain name for the website. Tip number two, where to get your headers designed. Now there's two different places that I recommend for you to go. The first place is Warriors for Hire. You can get some great deals on the Warrior Forum. And there's people in there all the time offering different services. And uh, it's fairly cheap. So you can either go in there or go to Fiverr. And Fiverr is only going to cost you $5 for a header. And there's a lot of different designers in Fiverr and the headers that they make look really really good so I mean, I've used Fiverr in the past for quite a few different gigs and I've picked up some fantastic deals so uh, there's, there's some great designers hanging around in Fiverr so just have a look through and I usually go for the ones that are top rated so usually you can't go too far wrong with those that's tip number two Tip number three is to do with your viral links on the sites that you build. If we scroll down to this site that I've built, you'll see there's a link here near the website. But what I usually do, every site that I build, I create a new page saying near the website. So the more sites you build for people, then the more links you're going to have out there and you're going to get more eyeballs coming to this page. So imagine if you had 50 or 100 sites out there, all with your link on. This is how you generate tons more referral business. Okay, and obviously the more traffic that each site gets, then more people are going to end up just coming to this page. And some people might be like, yeah, I'll, I'll give this guy an email, see if he can get me a site done. So this is how you get more business. Now this is my personal email address on this one, this example. I don't usually put my my normal personal email address there. I usually um, create a free email address within the site. So I go into my posting account and create a completely free email address. So that will look something like admin at um, revolutionfitnessgy.co.uk and then I usually forward all of the emails I get to that address to my personal email address and that's what I usually do so I don't usually advertise this this personal email address so that's how you can generate tons more business by using this this link by just putting like a link on the site obviously make sure that your offline clients don't mind but I just usually include the link and, and if they don't want me to advertise on their site then I just usually take it off but so far I've had no problems at all they're all quite happy with me doing it. It's only like a small link at the bottom of the page, so it doesn't really interfere with anything else. That's the viral links. The next one is to do with the hosting on your site. Now, what happens is I usually offer six months free hosting to all of my offline clients. So after six months, you've then got a choice. Now, one of the things that you can do is sign them up to, to a hosting account. Now if we go to HostGator, this is who I'm with, they've got an affiliate program. Now I know not everyone watching this video is going to be with the same hosting provider and that's fair enough. I'm with HostGator but this is just like an example. They give you one to five, uh, between one to five per month signups, they give you $50 per signup. So it's, it's fairly good commission. And so after six months, you could then sign your offline client up so that they've got their own their own hosting account. Then you obviously make extra commissions. This is a fantastic way to, to make online commissions with your offline clients. And obviously the more clients you have offline, the more money you'll make. And I usually give them six months free hosting. And after six months, you can sign them up to their own hosting account and the next one tip number five is what actually is included in the hundred and fifty nine dollars that you'll charge them now if you're if you're in the US or you work mainly in US dollars then I would recommend a good price to start at uh, to charge your local clients 
advert for a website is $159. And as you saw in the video series, you can make one of these sites within about um, an hour. I can actually do it in, in a, around 51 minutes, uh, as I said, um, sometimes a bit faster. So it doesn't take long and 159 bucks is, is um, some good income for just providing a basic website to an offline company. Because as I said, this is just how you get the foot, your foot in the door. This isn't going to be where you earn most of your income. This is just going to be some uh, initial income. This is just to get you in the door, so that you're, um, so that they're going to be a customer of yours. And then, if they need any additional services, then you're going to be the person that they're going to come and speak to. So, $159 is what I would recommend to charge if you're in the UK then 99 pounds is equivalent to about 159 bucks and within that 159 dollars I usually include the domain name six months free hosting and a customized header and you obviously build the site so you will have to pay the domain name out of the out of the 159 bucks and the customized header but the domain name is usually around seven to ten dollars and the header is five dollars so that's fifteen dollars you know and so it's absolutely nothing to worry about and you don't pay for any hosting because you put them on your on your hosting account so that's what i get for the 159 dollars they get a domain name six months free hosting and a customized header and a customized site as i've showed you exactly how to do so you should now be able to go out there and build the site really quickly, exactly how I do it. And so uh, you've got all the tools uh, available for you to do that as well. So those are the five tips. And I want to thank you very much for buying Offline Bullet Cash. I hope you've enjoyed all the information that I've given you throughout the videos. And it is really powerful stuff because you now have the skills and you now know exactly how to build fantastic looking sites for offline companies and offline businesses and make some great money in the process. Remember, this is just the start. The website is just the start of you making the money with the offline client. This is just the basic service that you provide. There's lots of other services that I provide as well. But this is the first one and this is the one that you need to provide just to get your foot in the door then that's when you can start to charge them a lot more money for additional services further down the road so thank you very much for buying the course i'll talk to you again soon take care